I never understood why people do pickup demos like that, but now that it's out of my system, let's check out the Sir SSH Plus Bridge Pickup, V60 LP Middle Pickup, and the SSV Neck Pickup in this 2019 Bowden Fusion Maple Neck Through with Alder Chambered Body Wings and a Solid Maple Top for you Tonewood people on this episode of the Strandberg Experiment. We're going from my guitar right into the Axe FX3 and into the computer with a simple Fender Deluxe Reverb patch. But that's a little bit too dry, so let's add a little bit of Fender Spring Reverb to liven things up a little. No other effects, all amp knobs at 12, guitar volume and tone at 10, and here's the basic sound. about the chords that I use. This one is actually a C major chord. I use it as a minor chord in this context. There's a lot of these simple chords that you can make sound fancy and sophisticated. All of my courses for these topics link below. Now let's hear some more clean single note lines in the most relatable of all guitar genres, dad blues rock. that when I play single note lines with a pick on the neck pickup, it sounds a bit like a P90 or even a noiseless single coil pickup. I personally love a very round, dark neck pickup sound like a Seymour Duncan jazz pickup, for example. If you like that tone like I do, this pickup may not be for you, but if you love a P90 or a noiseless single coil on the neck, then you'll probably love this Sir pickup. The cool thing about this HSH configuration is that the middle position has a single coil from the neck pickup and the bridge pickup. So we almost get a telly sound in that position. It's very funky and quacky. And in this next set of examples, I add a little bit of compression to bring out that tone. together have a shockingly convincing strat tone. I think it's because the neck pickup has a very single coil sound, plus the middle pickup is of course a single coil. That's how we get that tone. 
By contrast, the bridge pickup is pretty high output, and when I combine the bridge pickup with the middle pickup, I notice I don't have that type of quack and clarity that I'd hope for. That being said, the middle position where we have the single coil from the neck and the single coil from the bridge, that has a very, very convincing single coil tone. I really love it. Our first lead tone is just the same deluxe reverb with a tube screamer and all the knobs at noon. And although I don't love the neck pickup clean, it sounds amazing overdriven. For this next set of examples, I'm staying on the bridge pickup and I'm adding a fuzz space pedal to test how well the pickups clean up. to try out a few of my go-to tones. We're gonna to start with the neck pickup and try to get a jazzy tone. The amp is back to stock settings. The guitar volume is on eight, tone knob also on eight. Again, I really would prefer a Seymour Duncan jazz pickup or any other traditional humbucker in this particular tone, but these pickups can get the job done as well. For this next bluesy rhythm tone, I turn back on the compressor and I bring the Tube Screamer back in, but the drive on zero. Middle position on the guitar, so I have the single coil from the neck and a single coil from the bridge, and the volume rolled down to about eight.
for a fun, shreddy legato tone, I'm going to run the fuzz face into the Tube Screamer with the bridge pickup. <laughs> Give this video a like if you appreciate the fact that I am letting you actually hear the sound of the pickups instead of the sound of a really nice mix. I'm not sure why everyone always asks for metal tones. If I'm being honest, I feel like any humbucking pickup or even a high output single coil pickup with a good metal amp is going to chug. But let me check with an expert before I make that statement. What can you say really? As long as it has a couple of humbuckers, you know, you have a good metal amplifier, of course it's gonna chug, okay? So here are my conclusions. I absolutely love the bridge pickup. Nice and high output, nice and versatile, and as you roll the volume knob, you can get a lot of other tones as well. I don't find the bridge pickup and the middle position pickup as useful because that bridge pickup is so high output that we don't get much clarity in that position. We can't use the middle pickup by itself, but in that middle position with the switch, we get the single coil from the neck, single coil from the bridge, and I really love that tone. It's probably my favorite quacky, funky tone on this guitar. Then we have the neck pickup with the middle pickup, and that has the most convincing Strat tone on this guitar. I mean, it just sounds like a Strat in my humble opinion. And then finally we have the neck pickup by itself, which I don't love, but I understand that it's a tone that a lot of people will really enjoy. I think that as a whole, this pickup set is incredibly versatile, but if I were going to make it one modification for my own personal style, I probably change the neck pickup. Other than that, these are absolutely amazing for just about anyone. Let me know in the comments below if you like this format of pickup demo, because I have a ton of different pickups a ton of different guitars and I can review them all for you. By the way, I'm Andre Flood and I'll talk to you soon.